The NFL and college football plays a large part in each other's success. But which is better? Well, when it comes to football, I'm obviously a college guy more than the NFL. Sure, the NFL has got all the limelight, big money, and celebrity interest. College football still remains the king. Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about why college football is better than the NFL. But before moving further, kindly like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any more upcoming videos for 2022. With all that being said, let's get started. Number eight, the environment. Yes, there are frat boys, the odd, drunken, loud, and of course, students. But college football is much more than that. College football is a family sport. And given the likelihood that your local American football team is a college team, families flock to these events. These events are hosted by colleges, so you can trust that a band will be there. The college band only serves to enhance the event, further intensifying the atmosphere. From start to finish, whether you win or lose, whether it rains or shines, the band will perform. By playing their team's battle song during critical moments, they also energize both the players on the field and the supporters in the stands. Cheerleaders on the side frequently react to the band, and witnessing both works concurrently is a sight to behold. Not to mention the frequently amusing mascots of the competing teams. Typically, a mascot assists children in enjoying the occasion and frequently assists in energizing the crowd at halftime and timeouts. I enjoy watching the mascots perform the same number of press-ups as their team has scored points following each touchdown. And keeping in mind that this is a two-fold benefit, it helps distinguish the college game day environment. In short, in and around college stadiums, there is a whole different vibe. An organic celebration of campus pride and athletics. Number seven, more interesting rivalries. Do you know which NFL rivalry is the best? Is it the Dallas Cowboys versus the Philadelphia Eagles? Or maybe Chicago Bears versus Green Bay Packers? No matter how fierce these rivalries are, those contests are weak in comparison to rivalries like Auburn and Alabama, Ohio State and Michigan, Oklahoma and Texas, and Army and Navy. We're talking about recruiter competitiveness, geographic proximity, and your long bragging rights, among other things. Dallas is 1,500 miles from Philadelphia, and while I despise the <laughs> with the zeal of a thousand sorts and sons, I don't believe their animosity is as biologically based as a good college football rivalry. Number six, the game. Football is, after all, football, but <laughs> wrong. While there are many similarities between NFL and college football rules, not all rules are identical. Frequently, changes to NFL regulations take effect years after the collegiate game adopts them. One guideline that jumps out in particular is the down by contact rule. In the NFL, if a player is brought down by contact, touch, or a tackle, the play is stopped. In college, the game is stopped as soon as a player's knee contacts the floor. This is referred to as the knee down. Additionally, in college football, the receiver must maintain control of the ball and place one foot in bounds for the catch to be accepted. In the NFL, the receiver must maintain possession of the ball and place both feet on the ground. This results in some absolutely remarkable captures. Additionally, I want to allude to the points made in the player's era. When players understand that this is their chance to shine in order to land that big deal, quote unquote, they will give their all resulting in some incredible performances. Overall, the game is faster, the players hit harder, and they play with greater enthusiasm, which results in a more incredible game. Number five, the breeding ground. Another thing is that while the NFL is a fairly straightforward league, college football has its uniqueness and originality, and it serves as a breeding ground for a plethora of ideas. Teams in the NFL will begin with a 4-3 or 3-4 defensive base and finish up sitting in nickel for approximately 70% of the game. On offense, they'll pass the ball roughly 60% of the time. It was fascinating to see Paul Johnson's triple option or air raid in college and then observe the development and effect of those styles over time. The same is true for the 3-3-5 stack defense and many alternate settings that include bandit and spur safeties. College serves as a breeding ground for a variety of novel and distinctive ideas that are eventually adopted by NFL teams. 
the read option, Wildcat, and RPO all originated in college. Number four, the players. Yes, the NFL has the quote unquote greatest athletes, the most technically proficient players. But does it also boast the most physically imposing guys? Is it staffed by the most zealous players and those whose futures are on the line? You may argue that they do, but you would be incorrect. The NFL is the ultimate destination for any American football player, and this will always be the case. College players are not compensated in any way. Up until about now, I mean, there there is an NIO change, so I guess this is subjective, but yes, the majority receive financial assistance for their education in the form of scholarships, but at times this can be the only compensation that they are legally permitted to receive um, or are receiving if they don't have NIO deals. So there are no salaries. If you're not a big time player, there are no sponsorship fees and there are no performance bonuses, all pushing the incentive to play harder. They can only obtain this by being drafted into the NFL. As a result, I ask you this, who has more to gain? The man whose entire life is on the line? Or is it the man who already possesses a life? And this is only a sample of the elite players. There are approximately 3,500 senior college players in the game and only 7% of them will make it to the NFL. So what about the remaining 93%? While some would play with the goal of convincing a scout to take a chance on them, the vast majority will not. Consider the Army and Navy teams as an example. Although these athletes are eligible to be drafted into the NFL, they cannot do so until they have served two years of active duty and paid the cost of three years of education. For these reasons alone, the likelihood of these athletes being drafted is extremely improbable. The question then come, becomes why these players opt to play collegiate football. Simple, because of their passion and love for the game. Number three, the stadiums. What is the largest stadium in the United States? Yes, you are right. It's Michigan, Michigan Stadium. And we know that it is home to the University of the Michigan Wolverines football team. With a capacity of 110,000, this is far larger than the largest NFL stadium, MetLife Stadium, which is home to both New York franchises and seats 82,500 fans. Interestingly, MetLife Stadium does not even make the top 10 stadiums in the United States. It ranks 16. What about the above 15 stadiums on the list? <laughs> Yep, you guessed it right again. They all belong to college football teams. So the point is, why are college stadiums so large? And the answer is simple. More and more spectators want to watch the live college football games. Number two, every game means something. This is a new sports age, but it rings true. In this era of the playoffs, we talk about college football. No team has advanced with more than one defeat. This means that no game may be taken for granted in college football. Two defeats and you're out. However, in the NFL, things work differently. Back in 2018, three teams with six losses and two with seven losses qualified for the playoffs. And three of them made it to the second weekend. So the point is that college football matches are more competitive. And this is why every game means something. And this is exactly why college football is better than the NFL. Number one, the fans. All this discussion leads us to only one thing. Why the college football fans are better than NFL fans? The answer is pretty simple. Passion and love for the game. College football supporters, like their players, are significantly more passionate about their team. One explanation for this is that the majority of NFL teams are based in cities. If you grew up in the NFL city, you are almost certainly a diehard supporter of the local club. That's just natural. You might even be a super supporter. However, the primary distinction is that many college football fans attended the relevant institution for numerous years as a student. <laughs> as an alumnus of a college or university, you become part of the family. And even crusty old microbiology professors who aren't great sports fans will usually root for their alma mater on a game day. So that leads me to this. All in all, there are so many reasons why I prefer college football to the NFL. And to sit here and cover each of them would take way too long. With that being said, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that college football is better than the NFL? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. That's all I have for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. 
Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video. Let's get it.